CCTV America is investigating the natural gas revolution here in the United States, spearheaded by a highly controversial technology called hydraulic fracturing or fracking. CCTV's Jessica Stone explains how it could lead to energy independence for the United States, but not without a lot of risks. It's our series we call What Lies Beneath. Take a look at the natural gas wells of the future. They're horizontally drilled thousands of meters underground into deep shale deposits and hydraulically fractured by injecting a mix of sand and chemical-infused water under high pressure into the earth, freeing up natural gas supplies never accessible before. We're still kind of in the early moments of the shale revolution, so we're going to see a lot more jobs, we're going to see a lot more energy produced, and we're going to see a lot less reliance on foreign sources of energy. Across the United States, more than half of all states in the nation have shale gas exploration underway or are considering it. And across the globe, nations on almost every continent are considering or already using hydraulic fracturing to harvest deeper deposits of natural gas. Steve Everly runs Energy in Depth, a group funded by the energy industry to promote shale gas exploration. The reality is that shale gas itself is an environmental solution. Um, we've reduced air local air pollution because we're using more natural gas. One of America's largest shale gas deposits lies beneath the states of Ohio, West Virginia, New York, and Pennsylvania. The Marcellus Shale, as it's known, gives way to the Utica Shale as you go west. Steve Ford is a spokesperson for the Marcellus Shale Coalition, which represents the oil and gas industry in Pennsylvania. He says 240,000 jobs in the state are connected to natural gas production. He expects that number to climb. We expect a 46 percent increase this year in uh, Marcellus and Utica shale production in another uh, 28 percent increase next year in Marcellus and Utica shale production. And now the state that started the nation's first oil boom in the 19th century is poised to lead the American gas boom in the 21st century. But not everyone is looking forward to it. I've got my neighbor Ray Kimball's water from Dimmick, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is also a hotbed of activism against the gas industry and hydraulic fracturing. But they contaminated our water. In Pennsylvanians recently joined a protest outside the White House asking the EPA to investigate allegations of fracking related pollution. They're much more energy intensive, require many more truck trips of clean water. They require a lot more water to frack, and then that means you're also dealing with a lot more flowback water at the end of the process. Jessica Ennis of Earth Justice says environmentalists have one goal here in Washington to get the U.S. Congress to pass federal legislation regulating fracking. The practice is currently exempt from major pieces of American environmental protection law. People are realizing that our environmental laws are really important and every industry should be held to the same standard as others. Public radio reporter Marie Cusick sees the impacts of the varied state laws up close. She covers energy in Pennsylvania, where state regulations for the oil and gas companies do not provide funds for studying the health impacts of natural gas development. The Act 13 law that uh, get impact fee money from the gas companies and spread it around to state agencies and local no governments. Department. None of it went to the Department of Health. So public health advocates have questioned why isn't the Department of Health more involved. The U.S. government is currently studying the natural gas industry's impacts on groundwater, not on public health. But industry advocates say residents everywhere have to understand that there's no industrial development without some risk. The only way to have zero risk is not to do an activity. And so if that community wants to have zero risk, then there will be zero development. Jessica Stone, CCTV, Washington.